Hey, what's up guys? This is Ricky from No Lemons and today I'm showing you how to make two grand on a car like this. Uh, basically bought it at a really, really good price and I'm gonna tell you exactly how I bought it. And basically I did a few things to it. And I'm gonna tell you exactly what I did to it. And basically I've made two grand profit, super easy. Let's end the car and find out because it's absolutely freezing in Ireland. Let's go. Right, so first thing first, um, I have to tell you how I bought it and how you can invest on it. So when you are in the market, well, when you're on the website looking for the car, or if you go around to garages and ask them, have they got any trade-ins that they want to get rid of before actually putting them up and doing some work on them and selling them on? Uh, a lot of garages actually would sell their cars before they do any work on them at a really good price, say trade-in price, or the take him price the take him price just basically means is the price that they gave the customer when they traded the car in for the better car so this car was basically traded into a garage and i rang him up and i said can i take it as the trade price and he was like yeah of course and i paid wait for it where is let's hear the drumstick sounds six thousand five hundred um, I paid 6500 and it was two hours away from where I live, which was, I think, about it was in Galway, and they had to deliver the car from Galway to Dublin, which is two hours, two hours and a half, and depending on where you're driving um, or how safe you're driving. Always drive safe. Um, but yeah, so they delivered the car for me and everything for 6500 When I took the car, the car was perfectly sound. All I needed, brakes, service tires you know the standard things so once you've done that to the car um you have a hundred percent car right now the five series is a it's a pretty much sold every day in ireland a lot of people love it and in ireland they love the white color and i had an idea of wrapping it and a bit making a bit more profit but i was like Meh, look i don't have the time all i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna sell it as it is the silver color as it's in um and it's a lovely color itself uh it does have scratches it does have everything but that's second step i got dave from car car detail in dublin, car detail in dublin. uh to tell you a bit about this f10 so Dave, what would, what would you say the condition of the body of this car from zero to 10? I'm gonna give it at the minute, I'm gonna give it a seven. A seven, it's okay. It's obviously got, it's got mileage on it. It's what, it's what cars do, but it has every capability of coming up as a very, very nice car in a couple hours. And how did you like Yasmin's picture? Yasmin's picture on the door? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it's not there anymore, so. <laughs> so basically what my little monkey did one day, she grabbed a chalk and and drew a picture on the side of the door and went quite deep with the paint I tried to take it out a couple of times it didn't work but there we go you need a professional to actually get that done to take it out properly she said daddy i was just trying to draw you on the car so i couldn't give out to her she's only five um but yeah that's what happened so the second step what you do to so give the car a service change the front rage number on the car it's really important that you change the front rage number um i put the front uh, lip on the car and I changed the front grille. I don't know if you can see it, but the lip is on. One side of the grille is on. See. Woo. There we go. Now, luckily, Montos let me use his spot, his space, rapid design, and uh, let me use his lift to make this a lot more easier. Would you attempt it yourself and do it yourself? I'd say you definitely could, but you won't do a proper job and i'd recommend to go to a mechanic to fit that to fit that on for you it's actually a little bit more difficult than i thought it was the front lip but the grill the grill was super easy you just literally plug it out put the new one in and that's it now the handbrake buttons on the 5 series they always come broken and the vent in the back they always come broken like for a car that is 2011 and 2020 it's <laughs> 
it was in a good nick but the buttons were broken and i didn't ex expect any less because they all break on all of them so it's something that you kind of have to do luckily i have a drop ship a drop shipping uh, business as well online and uh, no lemon shops on instagram uh, the website is getting built soon enough so no lemons cars.com that should be up there up and running it's a drop shipping business so basically uh i ordered the handbrake buttons i ordered the re drive buttons just to kind of fresh it up a little bit and the vent in the back and i did all of that i changed all of that so that's the second step so the car is ready to sell uh, once the car is ready to sell all you have to do is try and put her up as the most expensive car online it's really really important if you're going to put her up online and do not put it for a price just to get rid of it because the first thing to people will they would say oh that car is something wrong with it um, i'm not going near it put her up for a high price the highest then drop it eventually slowly slowly do not don't expect this car to be gone the second day hey if it does happy days look it's it's, it's really good you did really well um but if it doesn't you should be very patient this car like this you're looking at two three four weeks i would give it four weeks and you'd be definitely be sold uh, a lot of people are after this and a lot of people want to trade in and so on now where do you advertise it here in ireland don deal car zone uh, auto trader now you need to be familiar with all these sites and go on them and check what the price of this car actually is now this particular one it comes with a few extra options as well so it comes with the sport button sport sport plus comfort normal all that kind of stuff not all of the 5 series 2011 comes with that and um, so there's few of them basic so make sure you mention on your ad that this has extra options if it does make sure you mention in your ad that this car has just been serviced make sure you mention on your ad uh, that you have nct on it nct is the national check in ireland to make sure the car is safe um every country they call it a little bit different so um in the uk i know it's called doe i don't know what it's like in the state um so basically that always mention all these infos on your ad right so i put her up online i put her up on done deal um i didn't put her on the rest of the websites but just i wasn't bothered because i know probably won't sell on these website where it will sell fast facebook facebook is the best place to sell your car now most of the garages don't even know that and they don't even actually try facebook if they do they'll have much faster sell um and i can prove it i've sold i flipped cars the next day on facebook uh about three or four cars literally were sold the next day because you got a big huge audience that are waiting for cars um i think there's an old lady looking at me saying why is this guy talking in the car weirdo i'm the weirdo basically um anyway get back to it so that's the third step right so put her up as the highest possible and when it's up there that's i put her i put this car up for ten thousand nine hundred. then the following week i dropped it to nine nine on purpose and i got a lot of people texting me saying oh what's the best price or oh, would you let her go for a seven would you let her go for eight and i always reply back i was like no i look somebody offered me nine grand and i didn't let it go blah 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 all absolute bullshits um then you drop it to where you want to make the profit for me profit wise i was saying two grand is where i what i was where i was aiming now i did spend about 120 quid on the full service i uh, spent about 80 quid on the tires it was second hand tires i spent 120 on the front lip what was it 60 quid on the front grill so i spent roughly in around the 500 quid so i'm only making 1500 profit really uh, but that's the profit i was happy with so i dropped it dropped it uh right now i dropped it to the lowest which is eight nine and that's when it started kicking in like this car is actually on facebook all over facebook all over done deal for a lot less than that but when people see that your price was originally and you have dropped it to them they'll be like oh okay he just realized that that the market value is a lot less let's give him a call back car must be clean and, and it is clean it is actually really clean so they gave me a call they were they were like what's the best price you'll take for it i was like look somebody offered me eight grand and i said no um eight and a half you can have it today i have someone coming in to look at it at eight o'clock tonight if you want it you need to get here before that 
and he's like right okay i'm finished work at six i'll be there at six on the dot i really want it please can i put a deposit i was like no 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 just come in have a look at it no deposit taking and uh you sell it and by the way i am not selling this car in a garage i do work in a garage but i'm not selling it in the garage i'm selling it outside to show people how they can make profit without actually working in the garage or without anything like that and um, so yeah uh, i was like yeah perfect happy days he came gave me eight and a half and the car was sold 1500 profit on this car and i have done pretty much absolutely nothing oh i also put a, a back lip spoiler lip whatever you call it put a lip on the boot basically to make it look nicer and it worked out really nice that's basically the secret behind it there is no secret it's all about how you're doing it so basically if you want to invest in cars and learn more about cars every day and maybe you want to drive your dream car Thank you guys so much for watching and maybe you just you want to make profit on this kind of car to drive your dream car this is what i did true life story my first car i ever owned it was an opal corsa and it was given to me for free because they were throwing it out it was worth no money i sold it for 100 quid bought another one another opal corsa i sold that for 350 and it just kept going that way till i got here to my everyday BMW i8 if you want to make money online yeah don't believe what they say there's a lot of they say um, a lot of people come online saying watch my hack for five minutes and make 10,000 on YouTube that's absolute bullshit I'm doing YouTube for fun I'm doing YouTube because I love doing what I love doing this kind of things I love being around cars I love learning more about cars I don't claim to be a car expert I just do it because I love doing it Thank you guys so much for watching please consider subscribing to my youtube channel give this video a thumbs up and i shall see you soon let's go